Bye. Jodi's off to work. She's heading to kind of her digital nomad hub here in Chiang Mai. Me, I work from here at home, here in the apartment. It's been a full week since I vlogged. And on one hand, it's been kind of liberating. It's been nice not to film and carry the camera around for an entire week. It's been nice to get a, a bit of a routine here in Chiang Mai. On the other hand, I've missed vlogging, so today I'm gonna take you through on a day in my life here in Chiang Mai. I'll show you the apartment a little bit later today, but quickly, the most important part for me, this has been my man cave, and this is where I've been working. I've been focusing on filing and sending images off to clients, and kind of that boring stuff. I've got like two hours worth of that boring stuff to do this morning. So I'm gonna get into that, and then after I'm done that, I'm gonna take you out of the apartment and show you a little bit more of my expat life here in Chiang Mai. I really like the neighborhood we're in here in Chiang Mai. It's northwest of the downtown. It's kind of away from all the tourists. There's lots of good restaurants around. It's a little bit quieter in this part of town. And then just a five minute walk up the road here, there's a place called Maya Shopping Mall. It's a big kind of fancy shopping mall. And it's kind of turned into like our de facto base of operations here in Chiang Mai for a couple reasons. So the biggest reason for coming here to the mall, to Maya Shopping Mall, isn't for like fancy shopping or McDonald's or Starbucks or anything like that. It's because on the fifth floor, there's a fantastic, fantastic co-working space here called Camp by AIS. And while I tend to work all the time from the man cave back of the apartment, Jody works here at camp at AIS. It's kind of like the digital nomad hub of Chiang Mai. So every day around noon, I come and pick her up here and we go off to the gym. We have a gym in our apartment, but one of the big goals I had this month was to get really fit and really back to being healthy. And to do that, I wanted to go to the best gym possible. And this gym is awesome. Such a good workout. I feel so much better in just one week here at the gym. I feel like my stomach, my gut feels better, my heart feels better, I have more energy. I just feel healthier. According to the scale, I've already dropped a kilo, but more importantly, I just feel better. And I think the lifestyle I'm living right now here in Chiang Mai is really benefiting. And part of that is the food. And that's reason number three that we come here to the mall. Chiang Mai and Thailand's kind of known for having amazing street food. And actually in the mall, there's a whole food court full of street food that's actually really good and really well-priced. Can I have one number 13? And one number three from here, this one. Thank you. So I got the crispy egg noodles with pork and gravy, and the noodles are almost like instant noodle. I think they might need to get soggied. And then there's some pork on here. This whole meal was 40 baht. 40 baht's like a dollar ten. So just just over a buck. Trying to get a piece of this. And it's actually really good, but I think it needs more spice. Everything needs more spice. So I may have put way too much chili in that. My face is burning, so I'm cooling off with a Thai iced tea. And now we're gonna really cool off and head back to the apartment and maybe go for a swim and maybe take a cool photo at the swimming pool as well. 
<laughs> on our way home, Jody and I got distracted by these massage chairs. <laughs> They're so ridiculous. Uh, but actually, it feels kind of amazing. My whole body is vibrating. I don't know how I feel about this. If you guys have been following the channel for ages, you know I hate... Whoa, what is happening? Oh my god, it's like full on vibrating now at full speed. Oh, it's just gone up a notch. Oh my god, that's painful. Ah, it hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> So we've got a pool at this apartment and it's actually kind of awesome and I really haven't been very good at taking advantage of it, but it's something I'm trying to do on a daily basis, get out there for 15 minutes, have a swim, relax. And today I kind of want to try to take a picture. I have this GoPro dome that I bought really recently. I've only used it once and I kind of want to try to get a cool photo with it. What happens here is we're right north of the airport and the planes take off and they fly right over our apartment. So I kind of have this idea for a shot. I'm gonna get Jody to actually take the photo in the water and I want her to shoot vertical with this thing, half in the water, half out the water and get me diving into the water as well. So I think it'll be really cool if we can make it happen. So we're just gonna do a test shot, no airplanes, nothing, just gonna dive in and see how it looks and then hopefully a plane flies overhead. Jody, you locked and loaded? Go! So I think that looked cool. Now it's just a matter of waiting for a plane to come overhead. The planes literally take off and go right over our building here. So I'm not sure if those photos from the pool came out, but it was fun trying. I mentioned that I haven't been making good use of the pool. I also haven't been out shooting photos. This is actually, aside from the lantern time, this is the first time we're out shooting photos here in Chiang Mai. We've come down to the old town right now, and we're gonna try to take some pictures at a place called Pra Sing Temple, which looks amazing. And I'm actually getting my first look at it here. It's like this golden tower, I guess. It looks like a Buddhist temple, I think and hopefully we're allowed to photograph it. So this place is really, really cool. There's lots of like Gold. There's just a lot of gold everywhere you look. It's so bright and with the sunlight hitting it, the afternoon sunlight, it's so bright. You almost need sunglasses to look at it. I'm actually going to put the vlogging camera away now though and I want to kind of start exploring some frames with my DSLR. So I'm going to pull out the 16 to 35 millimeter lens and the Canon 6D and try to work on some photos. Let me walk the photographers quickly through this as this happens. I'm shooting photos. You can hear the Buddhist monks chanting in the background. So awesome. I love hearing that. I've got my camera set up right here, straight on. The sun is harsh and it's coming straight from the back. So the way I'm fighting it is I'm doubling up on grad ND filters. There's a three stop soft grad and a two stop soft grad ND. So five stops out of the light and the sun's coming right through beautifully through all these like little white towers in the foreground of this temple. And it's actually coming out really cool because if I shoot F-16, I'm getting this big, beautiful sun star. So
This place is spectacular. As you can see, they just lit it up, but the lights are a bit harsh and it was kind of a hard place to shoot with all the tourists around and just a lot of people, but still a lot of fun. Now, I don't want you guys to think that we basically spend all our time in the mall. Yes, we spend a lot of time there, but we go out every night exploring, trying to find the best street food in Chiang Mai. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're heading to, I think the South Gate to go try to find some food, some dinner. Let's go. Me. What'd you order? We just ordered a couple of ko soy mu. Ko soy mu is like a northern noodle here in Thailand and then it's pork version. And I'm, I know it's confusing because it's cow soy mu, which makes it sound like it's saying I'm a cow mu, but it's not, it's pork. So I'm gonna end the day here with a little bit of a banana pancake, actually. Some deliciousness, well rewarded, I think, after a, a busy day. Um, there's lots of cool stuff coming up on the channel here in Thailand still. Heading to Koh Samui, um, gonna do some exploring, some shooting, and yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I guess I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.